Uh, Adam, is there any way you can come over here and talk to me? Uh, I, I can, and it's just going to take me a moment to get there. I'd just like to do a little interview with you. And... Sure. Let me, uh, let me make my way over there. Thank you. <laughs> Adam, what have you done? Uh, well, uh, we just got finished doing our, the 12th annual Queenie's Toy Drive. This, I've done them in the past, but this seems to exceed more than I can ever think of. Yeah, Pete, uh, so first off, thank you, Pete, for coming every year. This is the 12th year that you've come to, uh, to look at this, too, which is awesome. Uh, this year was a very good year, as we can see. Uh, <laughs> Thousands of toys that uh, that were collected, um, and we couldn't have done it without the community, without the Port Hope community. How does it work? Uh, so what I do is on uh, November 12th, right after Remembrance Day, I post up uh, saying we're doing this year's uh, toy drive, and uh, for every toy that's donated, I match the donation by buying another toy. So it's a two for one deal. So it kind of incentivizes people. And this year, <laughs> uh, where's where's it go? Where do they go? And what ages are there here? Okay, so the, uh, the age is uh, everything, basically. Uh, so we're, we're looking at uh, right from toddler all the way up to, uh, to teenage. Um, as, as you can see, we've got sporting goods here. We've got uh, the giant teddy bear back there, uh, which is going to be amazing. Uh, for some, some little one's going to love that giant teddy bear. Um, I don't know whether... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the parents. Yeah. But, um, and uh, so tomorrow, uh, Children's Aid Society is going to be coming with a big sprinter, and we're going to start loading them all up in there. How much more is this over last year's? Now, you can't know to the toy itself, but I mean, this seems to be a lot more. Yeah, this, this year is a lot. Uh, so last year was a record year, and we had a lot of toys, and they came up to just about here, uh, and maybe they weren't quite stacked as... Th this year, I'd say we're probably about 20% more than we had last year. First time you've ever had a eight to 10 foot bear? <laughs> this bear yeah i would say that uh you're right at least eight and a half feet uh, tall uh which has done wonders for taking up some of the space in uh, in here for the seating <laughs> what do uh community never disappoints this community has never disappointed me uh for 12 years straight every single day this community supports everyone within and that's why we're called a community this is something that, uh, obviously, we can't see the children's faces, but mm -hmm. we can imagine the children's faces when you see all these toys. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel amazing, obviously. Um, and you're right, we won't be able to see the kids as they're opening up their toys. But I can't imagine opening up... <laughs> I don't know who's going to wrap that giant bear either, but like opening up any one of these, uh, these toys when normally you wouldn't have got anything. That makes me feel great, and I think that makes the entire community feel great, knowing that they contributed to a happy Christmas for many kids. Thanks, <laughs> She's in the background. <laughs> but they, uh, this is one of the things, um, like you say, community, but you've got uh, even your staff, uh, amazing. Absolutely, so I wouldn't be able to do it without my staff. Um, not just Chantel, but my entire staff. Uh, they also come out shopping with me to, uh, to try to catch up on all the toys. They purchase many toys themselves and bring them in, uh, as well as they get to work around this. They come in on their days off, like today, on, on a Sunday, just to have this all organized, and then we're going to spend hours putting this neatly, stacking it up into the back there. Uh, I can't thank them enough. And next year, what do you think, Chantel? <laughs> Yell from there. What do you think about this? Like, why do you keep doing it? 